Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike with Sunny Slope Homestead and today we are moving our chickens to the coop. They're going to Gen Pop, folks. Yep, the two chickens that we hatched out over the winter, they're finally getting introduced to the to the gem population of our flock and we're gonna see how that goes. But most importantly, we have to move these turkeys that are in the brooder next to them. These guys right here and we gotta get them moved over there because they're getting way too big. Check it out. Now these guys, these are our eating birds and two of them will be the pets. So, and then one's a chicken. That is absolutely crazy. But on another note, we also have to get this hay feeder situation uh, straightened out because like many viewers said that those holes are just way too big. You're gonna lose a lot of hay. It's gonna be wasteful. And you know what? I took that advice. I needed to address it and the reason I haven't yet is because I had a full bell of hay in there. So I figured I'll just wait till that gets finished out and then we'll put in uh, some kind of screening or cattle panel, we'll figure it out and then uh, go from there. But they're out of hay, so it's a perfect time to address that situation. Hey, and if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It does us a whole lot around here and it don't cost you nothing. All right. Yep, so like I said, we have to basically swap the brooders out. Turkeys are going in this one, and the chickens are going up to the regular flock. Hey, if you guys notice anything different today about the film, or way I'm filming, I am trying this out at 60 frames per second, and it's going to be a little bit clearer and sharper, but uh, it's not what people are used to uh, watching in their film rates. So usually film at 30 feet per second or usually film at 30 frames per second <laughs> I said feet earlier but 30 uh, frames per second that's what everybody's used to watching on TV and normal videos I'm trying 60 um, just no reason it's a bright sunny day out I figured it'd be nice to get some of these crisp images in the background and uh, shooting some 60 frames today if you don't like it let me know that's the whole point of me bringing it up if you guys, if it's off-putting stuff, let me know if you like it or not. And uh, we'll go back to 30. Let's go feed these goats. Yeah. Hey, it's a little windy today, so I do apologize if you guys are catching that. What's going on, Mama? What's going on, guys? You guys need a little food? I see you knocked over your uh, mineral bucket. Probably good because it rained a whole bunch yesterday, so. Now we're going to get this straightened out over here. That, that whole uh, wasteful thing you guys are doing with all that hay. It's got to stop. So we're going to put some stuff in today. We'll be working with you. You guys can play on your playground. I'll get your mineral bucket all fixed up. What's that? You just want feed. Yeah, I get it. They're like, I don't care what you say. Just give me some feed for crying out loud. Let's get you some feed. Oh man, do they love their chow. Oh man, look at that. The grass is greening up, guys. But I gotta get some grub control on this yard because the voles are tearing me up. It's like walking on a waterbed, it's so bad. They've got their hay spread all over the place now. It's all on the bottom. I know they won't eat it from there. So I think I'm gonna move their feeder actually up there. And. Uh, we're gonna put some kind of contraction. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. It's either gonna be cattle panel or fencing But let's get these chickens and turkeys swapped out We'll come back to that here in a little bit All right, one thing we're not gonna do today is we're not taking the ranger danger up to the coop because That was a disaster last time we took it up there when it rained. We're gonna wait for the grass to Grab hold up there, weeds, whatever it is that holds that stuff together up there. We're not getting stuck. Now these guys on the other hand, they're a little nuts. Their brother, the chicken that's in with the turkeys is even more crazy. I'm not really sure how they're gonna take to being in a, uh, with the flock, but they're pretty old now. And they're not no small birds. I think they're gonna do well. There's gonna be a little bit of a pecking order taking place, but that's, that's what happens. But these turkeys, these turkeys have got to go. They've got to get in their larger brooder because they are 
they're getting ready to jump out of this thing any second. Let's see if I can grab one. Woo. Woo. Look at this guy. Oh, chill out. You okay? You okay? You okay? You okay? Man, you are a monster. You are a monster. Oh, oh, my hands are cold. Is that what it is? Oh, come on, come on. Oh, you ain't having this. You ain't having this. Oh, oh. These are our first turkeys, and I don't know anything about turkeys. I am reading up on them, and I am watching videos. And speaking of watching videos on turkeys, you guys need to go check out Matt over at the Payne family. They've got a slew of turkey raising going on over there. I love going over there and checking out their little setup. They've got a really nice net setup, and he does wild game birds over there. And I'll be looking for him and how to raise these guys up properly, that's for sure. Look at this guy. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll get you back. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so go check out the Payne family on YouTube. They got a great channel. I'm going to be looking for them for a lot of information on these guys because I know nothing about raising turkeys. This is something I just tried. I'm trying. It's new to me. Uh, those white turkeys are there. They're not going to be pets. Those are basically named Christmas and Thanksgiving. But the other ones, they're going to be our pets. We're going to have them around. I bought two. I really, really want one. But you know how it goes down on the homestead. Sometimes you lose one, sometimes you lose all, sometimes you lose none. So, that's why I've got two. I'm not eating the dark ones, guys. They're going to be pets. So, yeah, go check them out. We're about to have some really upset birds. <laughs> you guys ready to watch this fiasco? They're not as crazy as I thought they were going to be. I really thought it was going to be more comical than that. <laughs> well, I got to get this brooder cleaned out. And then we'll get those guys transferred over. But let's go ahead and introduce them to the new flock. You guys ready for your new uh, home? You guys ready to go to uh, Gym Pop? You guys ready for this? You guys got your claws all sharpened up? You got them shanks ready? Cause it's rough up there, I'll tell you what, they're nuts. Something inside me is telling me that, Mike, you should try to pick up both these chickens, hold them in one arm, and walk up to the coop and try to film at the same time. It's just the feeling I'm getting. Hey, if I grab both you guys and we calmly walked up there, you guys gonna be cool? You guys gonna be chillaxed, mellow, don't freak out? Cause I really don't feel like bringing a wagon up there cause it's muddy and or carrying this cage. What do you guys think? Silence, huh? Turn your backs to me. Great. All right. Well, we're going to give this a shot. Hope you guys are ready for this. You okay? We're going for it guys. We're going for it. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be alright. They're not that bad. I know I've been talking a big game. They're not that bad up there. I was just joking. You're lucky you guys aren't around when Snowflake was here. Then I'd be a little worried for you. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about with Snowflake and you're new to the channel, I'll put a card up top. I'll let you see for yourself what the story behind Snowflake. Oh, them girls want out. We're not gonna let them out today, though. Once you guys get acquainted, maybe. Yeah, boys, look like some fresh meat on the block. Home. Yeah, welcome to Gen Pop, fool. 
I want that tan one. He looked good. Here's the tricky part. <laughs> Here's the tricky part. I'm going to open this door right here, holding two chickens and not letting the whole flock out. We'll see how this goes. Not today. Ugh. You guys are gonna try to sneak out. I just know it. Woo! It ain't easy being a YouTuber. I gotta put a rope over that uh that that door back there. It will blow out, and all these girls will be running. All right. Let's go check out your new digs. You guys got your feed right here, and your water's on the other side. Hope you guys enjoy your stay. At the chicken la casa. What do you guys think? Not too shabby, huh? Uh-oh. What you got on that scratch, homie? What you got you better, on my scratch? You better chillax, Waylon. You better put them feathers down. Catch you slipping, fool. Let me catch you slipping. Ain't no way trying to... Ain't no way challenging you, boy. Yeah, yeah, I'm out of here, boss. I'm out of here. <laughs> you girls be nice. What is going on with these two? They just young. They're just teenagers. What are they doing in here? They can't be in here. They'll never survive. What's going on? Oh, well, that one kind of looks like me. Is that? Is that one of mine? You listen here. I want all your commissary. Understand? I want all your commissary. Ain't no snacks going on unless they go through me first. Y'all hear me? Would you stand Welcome that? Would you stand that fool? Oh. That's what I thought. Keep on walking. You're your place. Don't be staring at people, Holmes. So we're just going to let those guys get used to being in the new coop, in their new home. Now, a lot of you guys are going to say, I should have put like a small brooder in there, a cage or cage off an area, and just uh, let them get used to the area in there. But I just toss them right in. I've never had problems with it before. I don't let them go in there too young, but uh, I definitely, I just introduce them. And they usually work that stuff out, guys. Well... I didn't wind up using the cage or the cart. I just grabbed those little suckers and walked up with them. I really thought they were going to be a lot more crazier than that. They're actually pretty chillax for uh, uh, for where they came from, given the fact that their little brother is an absolute nutso. So I got to get this all picked up, and we're going to throw it on the compost pile. We're going to go hit that hay feeder, get that thing filled up, charged up, and fixed. But it's really windy out, so I'm warning you. You guys might go. If you ain't got the truck, use the car. We ain't afraid to get a little dirty around here. Man, what am I gonna use for that goat feeder? I've got some cattle panel and I got some fencing. But the fencing might be too, too small. I'm not sure. Let me think about it. I think I got it, guys. So, I think I'm going to use fencing. Ah, uh, that wind. I'm going to use the larger end of the fencing and I'm going to put the smaller end up top. So hopefully that hay bale feeds down there a little bit simpler or easier. Oh man, I'm not going to be able to fill in this wind. I apologize if it's horrible audio, but it is super windy, guys. Woo! Electric fence caught that one. Oh, I'm telling you guys, it is way windy out here. You guys enjoying this good weather? You enjoying that sunshine? We got her all fixed up. All we have to do now is load her up with some hay. Let's get some hay.
half of it out. Uh, all right, it's a lot later in the day. We got a lot done. The wind picked up so bad that I figured the audio is going to be horrible, so I might as well just stop where we're at. But let me show you on this, this feeder what we did. I mean, you guys saw what we did, but let's check out the final result. Yeah, it looks like probably like a 4x4 four four hole. I'm probably still going to get a lot falling down but it gets smaller up here so that at least they can't pull the big stuff out and have it tumble out anymore. They have to pull out a little bit. So this one, that one's patches, that one's boots. My kids, <laughs> my kids decided to name them, but they named them completely opposite. And I was like, I was said to them, but the black one has white boots and the brown one, has patches boots patches but actually it was patches or yeah it was boots patches but actually it was boots and pack patches oh my gosh i'm getting confused again <laughs> so we switched the names around i don't know if they were too happy about it but i couldn't keep them straight <laughs> battery went dead guys the woes but yeah i got a whole bunch of stuff done the wind picked up i wind up uh, trimming a bunch of tree branches off the willow trees i don't know or the willow tree i don't know any of you guys that have one of those if you do you probably can feel my frustration those things they drop so many branches so many branches there it's a full-time job picking up after them and then um got the gutters cleaned today got the gutters cleaned out in the barn it was just a good productive day we're gonna finish it off by grilling up some of those wings at that Super Bowl party that we had. I'll put a video card up there. You guys can see those. But, yep, we're gonna get the old grill out. Gonna grill up some wings, cause it's time to go. I am starving, and I appreciate you guys coming and watching. And if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next episode, guys. Have a good night. Mm -hmm.